Hey, it's your boy, Bobby Beach. Here, we want to talk about a subject that comes to mind, and that is Kaba, the son that Vegeta never had. It's just the truth. We all know Vegeta looks at Kaba like a son. So when it comes down to when you see him encounter uh, Kaba, he's always trying to bring out the best in him. He's always trying to push him. He's always trying to let him know what time it is. And basically, when it comes down to it, we all know that Kaba looks at Vegeta to some degree like a father figure. I'm not saying that Kaba does not have a father or that he, he doesn't know his father. There's a chance that maybe his father is alive, and there's a chance that his father, father probably died so we don't really know just yet all i know is that it's not like he's pushing away vegeta's um teaching or vegeta being somewhat like a father to him so when it comes down to it when we see vegeta vegeta pretty much looks at kaba and uh he sees vegeta he sees him to some degree it's like he can relate to him or perhaps vegeta is just happy to be around more saiyans so when it comes down to it, you got to remember vegeta was always around radix nappa and eventually goku who they knew as kakarot because the saiyans of his universe were destroyed they were taken away from him when he was very young you know he had his father there he had everybody there he was the prince of all saiyans and his planet was destroyed now with that being said we have kaba here kaba's a little different kaba's always been around saiyans he's been raised around them they have their planet which is called salad i believe and uh he was always raised around the saints the saints were never destroyed in his universe and they are still there to this day so basically when you when it comes down to it they these two are kind of similar and the reason why they're kind of similar is because they've both been raised as warriors kaba has been fighting in wars some people do not know this but kaba has been already been a warrior before he met vegeta kaba was out there um in battles and in wars before he ever met vegeta he's fought alongside frost when when frost was a good guy not against frost but when he fought alongside him everyone thought frost was good at that time but frost turned out to be bad so that you know he's fought beside him he's fought beside hit as well out there so cobbles was already you know where he was uh, as a warrior but vegeta just brought more out of him and helped him went super saiyan so yes vegeta does look at him somewhat like a son so basically we can even sit here and talk about the fact that with the baseball episode where Cobb and vegeta were pretty much like you know there with one another so it's Vegeta does have a high respect for Kaba when it comes down to it. And um not only that, Kaba, um, another thing, you gotta you gotta step you gotta take a look at the fact of this right here. When when Kaba is sitting there and he's looking at cauliflower and he's looking at kale kaba just went super saiyan he introduced it to them cauliflower is already at super saiyan one and two kale is hit a whole new level so it's like they believe they're leaving him behind in the dust and i'm not saying kaba has not took notice of this what i'm saying is that perhaps he wants to push himself but he does not have the confidence to do it and with that being said you have vegeta here looking at it like okay it's time to push you because you need to know what you got to do so not only that vegeta looks at him like a son because whenever vegeta uh, you know dealing with future trunks right the same way he deals with future trunks he deals with kaba he doesn't give you all that lovey mess or it'll be all right blah 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 it's tough love you need to push it you need to do this you need to fight you know and he's coming at you he's not trying to hold back so when it comes down to it with vegeta um vegeta is like you know he treats kaba like a son so it's like you got future trunks future trunks is a little different so i mean he was raised um in a time frame where um the androids pretty much destroyed everything he was literally raised by future bulma and future gohan he doesn't know um the life that trunks lives meaning that to me even though trunks and future trunks are the same person they they to me they're different so it's like because future trunks is really like his own person even though they are the same and then you have trunks who's been raised by um boma and um by vegeta he has everything he has capsule core he's he's there with everyone he doesn't have to worry about a, a life uh of, well you know living where the androids destroyed it he has them all and not only that uh future trunks uh he pretty much has vegeta as a father figure as well and then there's bra bra is his daughter so yeah we know that vegeta is a father figure and kappa is pretty much there as well so when it comes down to it you know that's what's going on here um and basically i want to talk about this when we're talking about this episode that's coming up this is about vegeta pushing kaba this is uh, this is about him uh bringing out in kaba what's going on because yes cauliflower is now at super saiyan 2 kaba's still at super saiyan 1 and yes kale has hit some sort of different super saiyan status okay kaba's not there right now so what is he going to do He's obviously going to do everything he can in his power to try to bring out his potential. And so with that being said, he's going to push him. Uh, and, and that's pretty much what he's going to do. Um, basically, hit is gone. So now that hit is gone, 
it's like the confidence of the team is probably gone. Now, Cauliflower and Kale probably haven't lost it. Now, Kale is, you know, Kale is still learning. Cauliflower hasn't lost it. She's like, it's gone. It, it was a big loss, but we're going to have to fight. Kaba might be the one who's like, wow, hit is gone. And, wow, you know, Kaba may be, you know, not where he need to be. And it's going to be for Cheetah's like, you need to push it because now that, now that he's gone, you have to take over. You have to lead Universe 6. You got to do this. So that's pretty much what I think that um, this next episode is, is going to be about. This upcoming episode is going to be about. But that's pretty much um, what I want to talk about here. But I just want to say, uh, it's your boy, Bobby B's here. I just want to say, much love much respect go right ahead and subscribe hit that notification bell hit that like button right there i just want to say um go ahead and check out some of my dragon ball content that i already got here and i got more coming for you i just want to say much love much respect hold it down and one